In 2017, Axelos, the current owner of ITIL, announced a major update, ITIL 4. Naturally, the global community of ITIL practitioners had plenty of questions to ask, such as what will ITIL 4 introduce? What are the biggest changes from ITIL v3? How will students become qualified in ITIL 4? And will those currently studying ITIL v3 be able to transition over to ITIL 4? With these questions in mind, let's take a look at exactly what you can expect from the newest version of ITIL. The updates to ITIL 4 are based on the most common hang-ups that practitioners have with version 3, namely that ITIL has failed to keep up with recent trends in IT operations and software developments, and that Axelos lacks a strong relationship with the general ITSM community. The development of ITIL 4 has been community-driven. Despite what critics claim, the number of ITIL practitioners and students around the world has only continued to grow over the years, giving Axelos plenty of help in producing a new version that works better for everyone. Its global research program already boasts over 2,000 members from the likes of Apple, Microsoft and even Disney. This collaboration has also given Axelos more perspective on how the ITSM community operates. This is why it's also enabled the likes of Agile, Lean and DevOps to be incorporated into the new ITIL framework. So what are the biggest changes from ITIL v3? Axelos has specified that existing certifications in ITIL v3 will still remain valid after ITIL 4 is introduced. This will allow ITIL certified professionals to keep practicing without having to retake their exams. However, the new version will also introduce a great deal of new examinable content. Much of this will be to do with new best practices and greater integration with other frameworks and systems. In other words, those who are currently studying ITIL v3 will miss out on a lot of what makes up the new curriculum. ITIL v3 had students collect credits in order to qualify for higher level certifications. ITIL 4 will change things up quite a bit, and so students of version 3 will need to consider their options carefully. ITIL 4 will keep the foundation module as its entry point, introducing students to ITIL's terminology, elements and concepts. After passing this module, students will have a choice of certifications to work towards, ITIL Managing Professional or ITIL Strategic Leader. In order to reach either level, students will need to complete all of the relevant modules within each stream. Once a student has achieved the two intermediate ITIL certifications, they'll then be eligible to start working towards the level of ITIL Master. Can I transition from studying ITIL v3 to ITIL 4? Yes, you can, depending on how far along you are with your studies. If you've just completed the ITIL v3 foundation module, your most efficient course may be to start from scratch. Remember, ITIL 4 will introduce new examinable content at all levels, so it'll be best to start your transition now rather than investing time in out-of-date modules. If you've achieved several ITIL v3 credits, you're advised to keep going until you have a total of 17. This will allow you to take the new ITIL Managing Professional Transition module, which is designed to bridge the gap between ITIL v3 and ITIL 4. If you've already achieved the level of ITIL experts, you'll be eligible to take the transition course immediately. And once you pass the transition module, all you'll need to do is pass the Digital and IT Strategy module in order to pursue the new ITIL Master Certification. So when will ITIL 4 be released? The release of ITIL 4 will be staggered across 2019. The ITIL 4 Foundation module will come out in the first quarter of 2019. The remaining modules, including ITIL Managing Professional Transition, will be released in the second half of the year. Interested in learning more about how ITIL can help your business or what ITIL 4 means for you? Contact a member of the Goody Learning team today.